Well, Josh, those are single digits and falling. In fact, the number of boats here at the Portsmouth, Portsmouth Fishermen's Co-op that actually fish for fish are none. They're mostly going out for scallop and lobster, and that's because the regulations and the quotas for helping to maintain the ground fish are making it nearly impossible to make a living. This is herring, salted for use as bait, the bottom of the fish food chain, yet even it can be contentious, even among fishermen, often pitting those who want to catch more to sell as food or bait against those that catch fish that live on it in the wild. That was the case today at a regional meeting of the New England Fishery Management Council. Everything that was shut down is where the fish are, where the herring are. Regulating where, when, and how much can be fished, a universal issue that's impacting a way of life in New Hampshire. Peter Kendall represents New Hampshire on the council and knows that all too well. I was a ground fisherman for 15 years in New Hampshire, and no, a year and a half ago, I ended up selling my uh, boat and permits. Why? Uh, the regulations for the quota system were uh, too low. Quotas on ground fish like cod, haddock and flounder slashed by up to 90 percent in the last five years. Only five full-time ground fishermen are left in New Hampshire. David Gaithel is one of them. You know, there's a regulatory net that tightens all the time as the regulators try to figure out a way to you know, manage the fish in such a way that you're going to keep everybody a little bit happy. He's the only one at present still selling his fish in state at the once bustling Yankee Fisherman Co-op. Anybody surviving, he says, has to be adaptable. There are boats here that can switch back that are fishing for scallops or have gone into the lobster fishery. Um, but overall, we still lost a great number of boats, so a number of boats that will never be back. Well, even while science may confirm those stocks are rebounding and some of those regulations that have been tightened loosened a bit, those ground fishermen still face other issues. As of March 1st, the government has shifted to them the hundreds of dollars a day cost for paying for the mandated at-sea monitors. It's an ongoing issue. For now, we're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.